Hello, everybody. My name is Val Oxenschlager. I'm a broker with GVM Food Marketing, and I'd like to welcome all of you to the GVM Live Wisconsin Winterfest. Um, and I want to thank you guys all for taking the time to come on here today. It should run just about one hour. And I also want to thank all our vendors for participating. Uh, if you guys can, please keep your audio on mute. And if you guys have any questions during the presentation, please submit them in the chat and we'll do our best within the chat uh, to answer them during or at the end of the presentation. Um, as far as uh, CEU credits go, I'm gonna ask you guys to go to the Zoom name section on the screen, right click over the name, phone number, and um, click rename. So again, we need your name and district name to assure uh, CEU credits. Um, each um, presenter is going to offer a $25 gift card. So we'll have a trivia question uh, after each presentation. In the first district, to put their name, district name, and the correct answer will win a $25 gift card. Go to the next screen. Next screen, Jeremy. Okay, um, this is the GVM team. Uh, we are a family-owned, regional focus, uh, K-12 exclusive um, brokerage firm. Uh, four of us are our commodity specialists. We have Dave, who's the owner, and he covers uh, the key markets within Minnesota. And then we have Jeremy Kurth, who a lot of you probably know, uh, as he used to cover Wisconsin. Uh, he also covers Minnesota as well as North Dakota and South Dakota. And then we also have Tom, uh, who covers Iowa and Nebraska. Next screen. Uh, here's a, a snapshot of all the lines we represent. And as you can see, they are all very focused on key. Next slide. Uh, we also have a wonderful person in our marketing department. Her name is Shar, and she handles a lot of the orders that come in. And she also has really gotten us up to speed on Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, um, LinkedIn, as well as Twitter. And then we also have a new updated um, email, news at gbmfoodmarketing.com. Okay, what I have here is just a screenshot of the uh, uh, DPI Wisconsin um, webpage. And as you guys probably know, today's uh, survey is open for SFAs participating in direct diversion. Uh, opens today and it closes on February 24th. Okay, uh, our first guest today is Cindy Marcheski Huzar, who is a Wisconsin native with EANS. And we have one poll question before she talks. And that question is, you guys should see it on your screen. Have any of you menued the new Yang's rice bowls? And we'll have an answer in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 seconds, sorry. <laughs> like, whoo. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, the bowls are a brand new item, um, and Cindy is going to go over uh, everything in their lineup right now. Thanks for oh. coming aboard, Cindy. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Val. Um, it is pronounced Marshki, just so you know. Uh, uh, thanks for everyone for jumping on. Um, most of you know me, but I'm going to actually play a video that we made uh, throughout the pandemic. Uh, we came out with it earlier. You guys may have seen it already, but we're going to play it and then I'm going to chime in afterwards. So Jeremy, please play my video. Hopefully y'all can hear it. I'm Cindy, 
and I'd like to welcome you to the Yang Smith Taste Virtual Booth. We are excited to show you some of our products today and to show you different ways that you can use them in your programs. Now more than ever, customers are looking for ways to use products in as many applications as possible. I'm going to show you some recipe concepts using our products that have proven success for students and staff. We hope after viewing these products today, it'll give you ideas for your own program and you will want more information from us. So over here, we have our most popular items. These are our entrees. We have our general so chicken, our orange chicken, our chow mein noodles, our barbecue teriyaki, which is a non-breaded product, and then two of our newest items are fried rice and our steamed white rice. All of our cases come with six five-pound bags of chicken and six 36 ounces of our secret recipe sauce. Uh, very simple to make in the back of the house. You just bake them and sauce them. We use all whole muscle leg and thigh meat chicken, very minimal breading, no MSG, no artificial flavorings, a very clean label. Basically a home cooked meal. And over here we have our recipe concepts. So utilizing some of our products over there, you can now make these recipes such as pineapple garlic teriyaki chicken, teriyaki tacos. We have a mandarin orange salad. We have a buffalo chicken wrap. And then we have our chilled noodle salad, which is a great vegetarian option. Our newest product is our four individually sealed rice bowls. We've got four flavors for you. This is perfect for these times right now where you're serving kids meals in all different places, at home, in the classroom, in the cafeteria. These are perfect for that. Teriyaki chicken bowl, general so bowl. We have our mandarin orange bowl, and then a new chicken fried rice bowl. All of these bowls are individually sealed. You can put them straight into the oven, straight into the microwave. They meet two and two on the National School Lunch Program, and they are all of the flavors that your kids love today. These are perfect for virtual learning, in classroom dining or cafeteria dining. And for those of you that would like to share Yang's with the rest of the family, we offer our flavors in grocery stores nationwide. We'd like to say thank you for all of your hard work that you're doing to feed the kids today. What you do is much more than just feeding the kids. You're giving these kids a little bit of normalcy during these unprecedented times. So thank you for being our school lunch heroes. We salute you. For more information of what you've seen today, please contact your local Yang Smith Taste representative. Great, thank you so much. Um, and then we're just gonna roll right into quickly um, a PowerPoint here and basically lays out the five new items that we came out with during the pandemic, the mandarin orange bowl, the teriyaki bowl, the general so bowl, and then we have a vegetable fried rice and then a steamed white rice. Um, these are great. If you have not seen these, let us know. Let myself or Val know and we can get you some samples to try them. Next slide, please. Again, here's some pictures, um, cute little picture there. Uh, the top one is the orange chicken. The white steamed rice is next to it. Our fried rice is underneath. Uh, either general or orange on the right, not sure, sorry. And then the teriyaki bowl on the bottom. Next slide. Again, these are perfect for virtual learners. Next slide, please. Uh, being that uh, they are perfectly portioned, they're sealed and individually wrapped. Uh, the flavors that the kids already love is simply heat in the microwave or in the oven. It meets two and two, uh, commodity processed and quick and easy for the entire family. So this could be in classroom, um, in cafeteria or sent home. Um, if you're in love with the bulk items and you found your own favorite to-go containers during this time, uh, here's some ideas that we have for you using to-go containers, utilizing your commodity bulk items with us. Um, so doing some different recipe ideas. Next slide, please. Uh, we do have heating instructions, both in English and Spanish for our bulk items, as well as our bowls. So this one on the screen you see is for the uh, breaded and unbreaded bulk items. Uh, oven, toaster oven, and microwave, you can also do the air fryer. Um, and then something on the top there is the QR code, but next slide, please, and I'll get into that. Again, Val and I and everyone at GBM, we're all here to help you guys with ideas, uh, commodity, questions, recipes, anything during this time. Next slide, please. 
just like GVM, uh, we are very active on social media. So please follow Yang's on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and then that little doohickey in the middle. That's our QR code. If you wanted to take your camera on your phone and toggle over that right now, it'll direct you right to our YouTube channel, which will show you videos of preparation of our products. It's pretty awesome. If you haven't seen it, take a look at it. Uh, it's kind of neat. So please give us a like and follow us. Next slide. Uh, again, like we said it earlier, Valdid, we really want to thank you guys for all your hard work during this time. It's been quite crazy, but remarkable to see all the ideas and the camaraderies and collaboration that everyone's done, including uh, on the industry side. So it's been wonderful to see everyone get together. Um, so again, I thank you. Thanks for coming in on this today. This is going to be quite fun. I was the first one. So hopefully I'm setting the stage okay and not going too fast. Um, next slide, please. And then here's my raffle question at the end of my presentation. So you saw the video, I ran through my PowerPoint probably faster than I needed to, but what three social media platforms can you follow us, Yang's Fifth Taste, on? Uh, be the first one to put it in the chat room. I think Val said you had to put your name and your district and then the, the correct answer, and then we'll have a $25, probably Amazon card, but I will get, I'll get with you on that. So I think Jeremy or Dave Knowles is manning the chat box, so they'll they'll figure that out. But if you have any questions for me, put it in the chat box. I'll be around. The guys will get me the questions. But thank you for everything. If you want samples of the bowls, Val and I can get those over to you. Thank you very much, Cindy. How'd I do on time? <laughs> Good. Good. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, everyone. Next up is a other commodity processor. It's Tasty Brands. And with us today, we have Frank Marino, uh, live from Cleveland, Ohio. How are you today, Frank? Good, Val. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. Thanks for making it. Awesome. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, uh, thank you to everybody here in Wisconsin for, for jo joining here. Uh, I did say the right. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, so I just wanted to kind of start, uh, most of you all that are familiar with Tasty Brands, you know, we are we are coming back with our full lineup as we look into next year um, with our full lineup of bulk products. If we could uh, see, yeah, move to the next slide, please. Um, everything that we've had in the past, we're going to be rolling right back out with. We've, we've had it all during the pandemic, uh, just not... Um, Obviously, there hasn't been the need for as many of these bulk items as we have, but uh, we are going to be continuing uh, moving forward with these products into next year. Um, all of these products, of course, that, that are ours that have uh, cheese in them, you can use your commodity cheese for. So we've got our, our, our line of pasta, the lasagna, tortellini, and ravioli, all of our breaded items, including our breaded ravioli and mozzarella sticks, uh, jumbo, jumbo and mini pizza bagels, um, and then, of course, our twisted cheese-filled breadstick. One thing that we added right before the uh, pandemic hit was our pizza bully in a bulk form, which has been amazing. Uh, and we are going to be rolling, moving forward with that and then uh, adding to that uh, moving forward as well. Um, if we could uh, uh, skip to the next slide here. Uh, like I said, starting with our pasta, one thing that we kind of did about a year ago at ANC was roll out our pasta abilities, which is our recipes. We do have all of these available online. Uh, we've got a couple of our fan favorites here listed. Uh, for all the products that we have, including a new one, the cheeseburger lasagna is, is a new uh, one that has been very popular in our testing that we've done so far. If you want to jump to the next slide, please. Uh, we have our instructional videos online as far as how to prep the products. Um, if you were to play this video, it's like a minute long, minute maybe a minute and a half long, and it just kind of some of those tasty videos that you see on Facebook where it shows you how to make it, including saucing the pan and adding all the ingredients. It breaks down how to make the products there within a good, um, like I said, a minute, minute, maybe a minute and a half long video. So that is great. And that is available on our website. Um, you can also go on our website and get cooking instructions for any of you that are sending home any of our products. Uh, and then we also have a brand new flip book that has all of these great um, items listed as well. Jump to the next slide, please. Um, you know, breakfast in the classroom, especially we've heard uh, throughout this year and then moving forward into next year, we just see great things for this. So We've added a few new items to our uh, turkey, ham, and cheese croissant that we previously had. Uh, we've got our uh, peach cobbler biscuit, which has been a fan favorite. We've had that for about two years, two, three years now. We've been able to lower the price on that 
uh, just because we're making so much of it and we're able to get some of the products uh, at a better price now. So we have that at a much lesser price than we previously had it. Uh, then again, we talked about the pizza bowl. We rolled out a whole family of bowlies, which we have here. Don't you can go back to that next slide. Um, so we've got the whole family of bowlies. So we started with the pizza bowl. What we did was we, at the beginning of the pandemic, we individually wrapped that. And then now we rolled out three new individually wrapped items. We've got the Fiesta Bowl, which is our Mexican flavor, sweet bowl and strawberry bowl. Uh, the pizza bowl, for those of you that don't know, is got your mozzarella cheese with marinara sauce wrapped in dough. The Fiesta Bowl uh, is a Mexican flavor. It has uh, cheddar cheese with salsa wrapped in dough. And those, like I said, currently are individually wrapped. We are looking at having all of our bowlies also uh, in a bulk version as well for next year, for those of you that will be doing uh, breakfast in the cafeteria as well. Um, next slide, yep. And then uh, again, <clears throat> we've got our pasta items that you can see here that can be used for a la carte and uh, our Smart Snack approved, including also our okra, which I have never sold any okra in my life, but we sell a whole lot of it down south. Uh, we have our breaded onion rings and then our mini uh, breaded raviolis uh, that you can put with the uh, sauce with that. So great products, uh, great to serve with your meals or a la carte. Uh, we did roll out some new individually uh, hot wrapped items, including uh, the two on the left are two brunch for lunch items using a turkey sausage, egg and cheese. We've got one on an English muffin and one on a biscuit. We've got a chicken and cheese sandwich, a cheeseburger and a hot dog, all again, all individually wrapped as well. Uh, cold on the cold side, we have, um, excuse me, on the next slide, uh, you'll see we've got our any timers, which has been very popular. Uh, we've got our individually wrapped sandwiches, uh, just like we've always had. Uh, next slide here, we've got, we've taken our any timers and we're going to be adding a juice to it this year to kind of add to the, the profile there. And we'll have some individually wrapped um, lasagnas with sauce already added on there. Uh, the next slide, we have our uh, summer feeding program, uh, which we'll do. Just give us your best guess. We'll be sending this out probably within the next month. We're going to be working with the distributors just to give us your best guess of what you can use just to ensure that we have enough product for everybody. And we will be rolling this out shortly. Um, and then uh, I believe the next, I think, is probably my raffle prize. Well, thank you, everybody. We appreciate everything you've done You know, moving forward. Uh, we do have our uh, trivia question for the raffle. It is, uh, what is the newest member family member to the Bully family joining the Pizza Bully, Strawberry Bully, and Sweet Cream Cheese Bully. So please type your answer in the chat with your name and district, and Val, Jeremy, or Dave will take care of you, and we'll get the prize out to you accordingly. Sorry, there was a lot of information packed in real quick, and I was trying to stay within my time, so I appreciate everything. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Frank, for taking the time. Uh, our next... Um, company is Integrated Foods, which is also a processor in the state of Wisconsin. And today we have Billy Rosenthal, who will go over the product line with you. How are you today, Billy? Hey, Val. Hey, everybody. I'm doing all right. You guys hear me? Hopefully not too loud. Yep. I feel like the old Chris Farley bit where I've been trapped in the basement with <laughs> six cups of coffee and uh, ready to roll. But uh, all right. Thank you. So Integrated Food Service, um, for those of you that don't know, was established uh, in 1991. Uh, so we're coming into our 30th year uh, exclusively. K-12 um, actually started when two friends um, who worked at a bakery, one of them family owned the bakery, decided um, to make some sandwiches in a local school district, had asked them if they would make them for them. So um, all started with some handmade sandwiches um, that were eventually packaged um, and then sold to a local school district in Southern California. Um, and then you fast forward 30 years and, and here I am talking grilled cheese and more. So I uh, really appreciate you guys' time. I hope everybody in Wisconsin has been staying healthy and warm, um, maybe in the other way lately, but uh, um, yeah, let's we'll jump right into it. I'm going to keep it very simple, and I welcome any questions for Val or me offline. Um, and I just want to notify you guys with some changes. Um, but just kind of going into our first, into our product guide, if you will, our first category that you're going to see is grilled cheese as a whole. Um, this is probably not a uh, news to anybody. Um, we sell a variety of types of grilled cheeses. Um, it uh, by far our most 
popular would be our original, that one you see right on that picture there in the yellow package. Again, whether it's you guys have used it at, at your schools um, over the years, or you've seen Val and I um, constantly push it, it's probably uh, a package that's very familiar, familiar to you. Um, but as far as changes with that product specifically, um, we've seen the quality really increase, um, probably starting in January of 2020, with the reason being we opened up a new bakery, opened up a full new surface grill. So I hope um, your schools have seen that if you've used the product since then, um, but it has definitely uh, been um, a really positive feedback from schools that have used this product year after year. Um, admittedly, uh, you know, where we saw some quality leveling off, we had to address that. So. Um, that's our wrapped grilled cheese. And if you want to go to the next slide, please. Um, you're going to see some other grilled cheeses on there with a, a, our most popular version, the original grilled cheese, also coming in bulk for those that aren't aware. If you are still serving some bulk foods, um, that grilled cheese is available um, through your local distributors and is an awesome option for a homemade look, um, but also a actual grilled cheese. Um, I know it's tough for schools to... Um, get their bread uh, to that consistency they want with, you know, the different uh, ovens and operations. So obviously you guys know a lot about grilled cheeses. Um, we can kind of move past that and open up any conversations for later. Um, this, this slide right here, our lunch and, and uh, supper entrees, is certainly what is, is skyrocketed since the um, unfortunate pandemic has began. Um, I don't think I need to tell any of you guys why with it being wrapped goods for the most part um, and just a different option for, um, compared to a grilled cheese uh, or something like that. So on this list, some of our most popular options lately have been our chili cheese dog, individually wrapped in a picnic table style um, kind of package, which is, is very unique. Um, it is fantastic. The best way I can put it, uh, as it tastes a hundred times better than you're probably thinking right now. Um, it's, it certainly is a product that people like to test in their ovens because there, there's a, a, an immediate question of a wrapped chili cheese dog, um, but it has been doing well. It's been reordered and it also has some great microwavable instructions for those sending um, your products home with, with students uh, or families um, and it has a lot of versatility there. Um, another big item for us has been our cheeseburger sliders. Um, these are items that we produce. Um, I think one thing that gets, um, that kind of goes by the wayside a lot uh, are companies that have products co-packed. Um, you know, you lose a lot of control in your product. Um, you lose a lot of control in your logistics. So a lot, all these items you see from us are items we produce at Integrated with our logo on it. And we take a lot of pride in that. And we also... Um, realize that if something comes up, we're the ones that, you know, you can ask the questions to. Um, so the cheeseburger sliders have been big. Those are individually wrapped, um, generally in a graphic package. Um, and then an, uh, some new ones would be our, our chicken sliders um, that are, are wrapped. Um, they come as a twin pack similar to the cheeseburgers. Uh, and those are available spicy or, um, or original. Um, as far as these items and any item you see, we process cheese and beef. And I'll get into the cheese part of it in a, in a minute here because that's going to be a big change. Um, but for some of these items, you can actually process both. So in a world of value on, on as much as possible, breakfast, lunch, or supper, um, you can process cheese or beef or both. Um, generally, I recommend to, to hit the cheese hard because it, it works as that NOI code, which is nice for for our distributors and, and everybody. And there's generally more cheese value on our items um, than, than beef uh, for, for the most part. Um, uh, you're gonna you're see, gonna see, you're gonna see a wide variety, variety of breakfast, of breakfast here. here. And I'm kind of six minutes going. belly, just so you know. Okay. okay. Um, so you're gonna see a wide variety of breakfast here. And it, a lot of it is familiar with your distributors, all of it individually wrapped. So if there's any samples you'd like to see, please ask. Um, beef and cheese, uh, ham and cheese, and so forth. Mexican line is a big one for us. We have a couple individually wrapped uh, burrito quesadilla options. Um, our beef and cheese taco stick by far has been the biggest mover in this list. Um, since the pandemic started, it's probably been the biggest um, positive item as far as a solution because it is a microwavable item. 
Um, it's all pre-cooked, really high quality taco beef, um, individually wrapped. So really what I want to hit on the most part with our commodities in general, the biggest change from 2020 to 2021 is going to be we are only processing one cheese code, which is going to make things a lot easier for distributors and schools. Before we were processing MOTS for one, some products and American for others. Now it's going to be all American for all of the products. So that should make it a lot easier um, and, and really simplify your guys' diversion so you can send one code and get value on everything and not wonder why your distributor is not giving you that commodity value off the top. So if there's any questions about that, please let me know. We're in the process of getting our most up-to-date SEPDS approved, but we're not imagining any issues there. And last but not least, I'll quickly touch on it and Val can, can follow up with anybody, but we do do a full line of very high quality, low sodium bulk beef. Um, it is very important that commodities are backing some of this stuff up because it is a higher quality and, and the price sometimes reflects that. So the commodity beef is very important, but we love testing against any beef company because taste wise, we, we seriously uh, think we are superior in that. Um, we just uh, want to make sure that that schools aren't uh, surprised by the, the commodity value versus commercial. Um, this is just an example of our commodity calculator. Certainly can be sent out in whole. Um, it will be revised to, to not show the, uh, the mozzarella um, anymore, but you shouldn't see any calculations showing uh, mozzarella for about 99% of the products. Hi, I'm John Sugimoto, and I'm Paul Giuliano. We'd like to welcome you to our test kitchen at our plant here in Gardena, California. Together, John and I co-founded Integrated Food Service in 1991. So 2021 will mark our 30th year anniversary, which means I was 15 when I started the business. I was 12. 12, okay, you see? So we age well. And uh, we want to thank everybody for your support over the last 30 years. We've been able to grow to a national company. And without your support, we could not have done that. So thank you guys for that. Um, Yeah, we started the company as a, a focus primarily on schools, and to this day, the school food service market is, is our company's primary focus. Yeah, the school food, food service market is by far the funnest segment. And we've attended conferences nationwide for over that last 30 years, and some of our best ideas uh, have come from some of those conferences. And were we at the bar? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, you know, I, I think I have some napkins that I wrote down some of our ideas. One of our signature items is our grilled cheese sandwich, which we have been selling for almost 30 years, and we are the leader in the nation and the original grilled cheese sandwich, so I will let Paul speak more about that. So this product here was developed, actually um, it came from a school food service director that was having difficulties producing grilled cheese sandwiches in her own kitchen and came to us with the idea of being able to mass produce a homemade grilled cheese sandwich. And from that, we uh, did a lot of trial and error, and it took us many years to perfect it, but we believe we've got the premium sandwich in the marketplace. One of the competitive advantages that we have is in our plants in Southern California, we own and operate not only USDA and FDA uh, production facilities, but also a commercial bakery. So we're able to bake all of our breads for all the products you see here and tailor them specifically for the school food service market. So John's gonna talk a little bit more about um, commodity processing. Yeah, commodity processing. So we have a full line of beef, bulk beef patties, we take those bulk beef patties and we make them into value-added products, such as our All-American Burger, our made cheeseburger sliders, and we even make a taco meat that's proprietary to us. So with the cheese and the beef, you can basically your one-stop shop to process your commodities. And we are a nationwide company. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, John. In closing, we want to just reiterate that we offer a complete line of individually wrapped breakfast and lunch entrees, as well as bulk products. And you can get further information from our fantastic group of sales associates, and their, their names are available on the website. And don't forget, commodity and commercial. Commodity and commercial. Commodity and commercial. One stop shop, integrated food service. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. All right, thank you guys for that. Um, as you see, everybody would prefer to be in one of those bars writing ideas down on a cocktail napkin. So I appreciate your understanding through this virtual world. Um, and we're just going to leave it with the trivia question. 
Um, what year did integrated food service start in K-12 food service? And that was John delivering sandwiches on his bike. More or less, or at least that's what they, they, the humble beginnings they like to share. Okay. Thank you guys for your time. Well, thank you very much, Billy, for taking the time to do it. That was very informational. Uh, next up, we have uh, Joe D'Antoni with Cherry Central, which is also a commodity processor in Wisconsin. Uh, Joe, if you're there, please go on. I was asleep, Ian. Why are you bothering me? Oh, we got a Zoom meeting. Sorry. Um, hi, everyone from Wisconsin. If uh, if you're I'm familiar with you, I, I was working with another company for a lot of years, and I started up with Cherry Central, with the, which most of you should be familiar with, because you're one of two states that we've been commodity processing in. Um, if you're not familiar with us, then shame on Val, because then he's not doing his job. But, you know, what can I say? You, you get what you pay for. Anyway, I have this quick little video. It's not about me, because even I bore myself after a while. Um, anyway, uh, if we could get that started and turn up your volume, because it's really low. Hello, and thank you for joining us in this new normal. Today, we will take a look at Cherry Central, the newest commodity fruit processor to the school market. Cherry Central has provided fruits and applesauce to the USDA for over 10 years. And we believe the reason we are here is we have a better tasting product that the students will notice and prefer. What we have here are our dried fruit snacks. Both will equate to a whole fruit component for your menus at a half a cup fruit equivalent. First up, and dressed in pink packaging, is our cranberry snack. Soon, we will be adding flavors to this snack offering, so students can have a variety to choose from. Next up, in yellow, and the fruit snack we are most excited to share, is our cherry snack. There is nothing like it in the school market today. Prior to COVID shutdowns, we were able to do minimal testing with students all of which had extremely great results. Hopefully soon, we will be able to introduce and test this product with your students. Both are shelf-stable products with a shelf life of 18 months and are commodity processable, which will bring them to you at a very affordable level. Cherry Central will be introducing many new varieties of fruit snacks and flavor combinations. Some examples include a berry mix with cherry, blueberry and cranberry, a sour blend of cherry and cranberry, and another interesting concept we have considered are fruit chips with a blend of apple, strawberry, and cherry that would offer a whole fruit component for your menus. We strive to create new and exciting products and with your input, the options are unlimited. Once we are welcomed back into schools to test products, we intend to share these new varieties with your students. Of all our products, our staples in the school market is by far our applesauces. In total, we have eight unsweetened flavors, including regular applesauce and cinnamon applesauce. Believe it or not, our mango flavored applesauce is one of our more popular flavors. Close in popularity are blue raspberry and strawberry banana. A unique flavor offering is our birthday cake applesauce. When you try it, think of cake batter. This would be perfect to include on a monthly birthday celebration at your schools. To round out our flavors, we have mixed berry and the always flavorful strawberry applesauce. When you order samples, please try them at your office side by side against your current product. We truly believe our product is second to none and know you will have a preference for our sauces. In developing our products, we have your interests in need. That's why all of our products are shelf stable for easy storage, smart snack approved, offer a whole fruit meal component, gluten free, commodity processable, and made in the USA. For more commodity processing information and planning your menus, please refer to the commodity codes listed on this page. Thank 
two, we have a trivia question. Hey, who put five in there? That wasn't on the original trivia question. It was a trick question. Boy, you guys just don't get this, do you? <laughs> I appreciate your time, everyone. You know, Zoom meetings are uh, kind of like what we're doing these days. And, uh, you know, life used to be real busy until Zoom meetings came along. And then it really slowed down life. Take care, everyone, and thanks for your time. I do appreciate it. Okay, well, thank you very much, Joe. Uh, next uh, uh, manufacturer here is Hangry Bear, and uh, I've got a poll, or excuse me, uh, a question here. How many times a month do you offer pizza? 20 seconds here, we should see that come up. And then um, I saw that Mark Bartow is here. Mark, if you want to uh, help with the presentation, please do so. Can you do the next slide, Jeremy? Okay, there is our answer. Very good, one to two times. Okay, Mark, are you there? Okay, I will uh, continue here. Uh, Hamburger Pizza is uh, a relatively new K-12 uh, pizza where you can divert your cheese. Um, and here's a pic of other lines they manufacture and you see these at the grocery store. Uh, one of my absolute favorites is the lots of matzah. So in that same light, uh, we've got Hangry Bear Pizza. Next slide. Okay, uh, again, Hangry Bear Pizza is a K-12 brand that was launched in 2018. Each pizza is a 16-inch round, and there are three varieties, one being cheese, pepperoni, and turkey pepperoni. Uh, last year, we were quite active in doing uh, samplings at the schools. Uh, we really missed doing that this year, um, but we sampled approximately 50 districts, and we really had a high accept acceptability rate of about 98% of the kids. Next slide. Uh, product information. Uh, an eight cut on this pizza is going to give you two meats, two grains, and one eighth cup red orange vegetable. Uh, and the pizzas are RBST free cheese. Next slide. Uh, each case contains 10 pizzas, which equates to 80 servings. Uh, each pizza is individually wrapped, which is very helpful for sending uh, home meals. Uh, and here's a key point pizzas are manufactured in a state of the art facility in Kakana, Wisconsin and will be available through your preferred distributor. Next slide. Okay, uh, they offer uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, point of sale items. Uh, you can get table tents, ceiling dangler, danglers, posters. Uh, they actually also offer a slice guide. It's a nice stainless steel unit that you put over the pizza to assure you get a perfect uh, eight slice cut. And then they also have a very, very nice clamshell container for a la carte, grab and go, feeding in the classrooms, which you can order separately. They are not in the box of pizzas. Okay, we got a trivia question here. Where are Hangry Bear pizzas manufactured? Okay, I see an answer that was quick. Okay. And the answer is Kakana, Wisconsin. Okay, got to keep moving here. Next up, we have ProView. Now, ProView is not a commodity item, uh, but is a great alternative for you. Today, we have uh, Kevin Christie, uh, live from Minnesota. Kevin, how are you today? Hey, Val. Thanks for having me on. Thrilled to be here. Thanks, okay. everybody else, for joining. Uh, like Val said, my name is Kevin Christie. I'm out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. 
Uh, I'm a new region sales manager for ProView. John Souls uh, just started a few weeks ago. Uh, I actually grew up in Nina, Wisconsin. So I have uh, roots to your backyard and I've, I've lived in Minneapolis here for 15 years or so now after growing up in Nina. But um, are we doing the, uh, the poll question, Val? Yeah, thank you very much. I missed that, Kevin. All right, uh, we got a poll here. Uh, are you currently serving any ProView chicken? And while we do that, uh, I'll run through a brief overview of our company, uh, talk about some new and uh, popular products that we do that can hopefully increase your participation. And then also we'll talk at the end about commodities, even though we're not processing, we, uh, we see commodity chicken all the time and, and hopefully we can steer you in the direction to, uh, to save some money by processing other products. So how's the poll looking? Okay. Well, one third uh, are serving, so that's why I'm here and that's why Val's here and there's some opportunity to educate you guys on our products and hopefully boost that number up. But uh, in terms of, oh, go back one slide Val for me, please. Um, ProView was started in, in 2007 and we say we officially hatched in 2014 uh, when a company called John Souls Foods acquired our ProView brand um, to have more capabilities on, on, on producing breaded items. They were primarily a retail manufacturer. You, you find their products all over the retail grocery store. Um, so they, they increased our size by about four or five times when they acquired us. That came, you know, much greater product offerings and capabilities. Uh, we have plants in Georgia. Texas, and we're building a brand new state-of-the-art plant in Alabama. Uh, our main goal every day is to provide the, the best tasting chicken products, the highest quality at the most competitive price uh, for all you K-12 operators out there. Really providing that product that the kids want to stay in the cafeteria for. Okay, next slide. What we offer, almost everything we do is breaded and fully cooked white meat chicken. We do do some grilled, uh, unbreaded, some rotisserie, some diced, but majority of what we do is the breaded, fully cooked offerings in, in different shapes, sizes, and flavors. Uh, from largest to smallest, you know, we, we have the fillets uh, and patties. Then we go down to tenders and strips. Uh, chunks or boneless wings, and then your popcorn nuggets, uh, popcorn chicken or nuggets. Now we'll get into some of our, our products here. This is a brand new product that was modeled after the popular fast food chain Popeyes. Uh, they redid their chicken sandwich in 2019, and it's been a, a battle with Chick-fil-A on which fast food chain has the best chicken sandwich. So we wanted to, to replicate that for the, the cafeterias nationwide. So that's what this is. This was the first product I tried when I signed on and I said, okay, I'm in, this stuff will sell itself. So if you guys are looking for a new item, this is baked, it's super crunchy. It's, it's very similar to what they find at Popeye's or, or you know, your, your different fast food chain down the street that a lot of students leave for and then come back. Um, whole muscle, uh, really, really good product. Next one. Kind of a staple, especially in high schools, is your whole grain spicy filet. Again, very similar to up and down the street fast food chains. Really high participation on, on this item. And it's NAE as well. Whole muscle filet, NAE. Next one. Um, mo one of our most popular items are these tender fritters. I just had a, a half a truckload order come in right before this and, and the majority of that order was this tender fritter. So this is a really high volume product, um, whole muscle, crunchy, 
thick breading. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, like a Raisin Cane's chicken tender, that's what these are similar to. And then our buffalo, or our, our bites or chunks, uh, some people like to call these boneless wings, really versatile. We have just our standard chicken breast bite, uh, a buffalo glazed and an Asian glazed. So you can put these on salads, you can serve them you know, on their own with dipping sauces. Very consistent. We see some competitors with some inconsistencies on this similar type of product. Um, but our, our product is very consistent and, and a very huge hit with the students. Next one, last but not least, our breakfast. This is a brand new product as well. Uh, chicken sausage patty tastes very similar to your Jimmy Dean sausage, but a lot healthier, obviously. Uh, but we do do breakfast uh, along with some smaller chicken fillets. Um, so if you're looking for breakfast items, these are very versatile as well. Obviously, you can use them in sandwiches or, or burritos or just served as a side with waffles or pancakes. Um, and then finally, we have some packaging solutions. Uh, really give it a retail feel and help your grab and go or a la carte uh, situation increase your participation. It saves on labor costs. And we provide these right in the case of, of a lot of our popular products. Uh, so it's right in the case, no cost to you. And it gives it a premium feel. I actually had Popeyes yesterday and uh, saved the bag and it, it looks just like our, our chicken sandwich bag. Also food safety is a big thing right now, obviously. Um, so you're protecting the food uh, as it sits out and, and is ready to be taken. Probably the most important part of this is our commodity comparison sheet here. Um, a lot of people may not know this, but chicken is the least valuable commodity to process in terms of, of saving you dollars. There's, there's companies like ProView that offer chicken our, our commercial price is at or below the commodity drawdown price. Um, so you're better off spending those dollars on DOD produce or beef and, and knowing what you're getting in terms of chicken from a company like us. Uh, so Jeremy, you were gonna maybe jump in and uh, talk a little bit about this here. I don't know if he's still on or not, but... Um, some really advantageous opportunities to, to utilize our chicken product and then spend your commodity dollars elsewhere uh, for up to a 25% savings. And that is all I have. The last slide is just my two boys enjoying some ProView samples. Um, there we go. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old and they love uh, the, the chicken products and, and your students will too. Thanks for having me, Val. Okay, uh, looks like we got a trivia question here. What fast food chain is the new ProView Louisiana Soft Fly fully modeled after? Okay, looks like we got an answer here. All right, thanks, Ellen. Next slide, Jeremy. Okay, I'm gonna start going a little bit faster because we're running late on time. Next slide. Uh, what we have here. Thank you very much. Uh, screen we have here is Albies. Uh, this has been a great item during the pandemic. Uh, and what these are, these are wow butter sandwiches. Uh, they utilize wow butter. And we're gonna get back to that a little later. Uh, the uh, company wow butter is gonna present. Uh, so what they did is they have a 2.4 ounce, which is crustless, meets a one and a one. Then they have the one with uh, the crust, which is a two and a two. And then at the bottom, that's kind of a little sleeper item. Uh, it's the apple-filled jammer stick. 
uh, counts as two grains. You know, great, great a la carte item. Uh, next off, they're very big on calzones, and they responded to the pandemic uh, by doing them individually wrapped. Uh, they've got a full line of pizza and egg and cheese uh, in the 5 and 4.5 ounces. You can see that need two meats and two grains. And then below that, uh, they do have some smaller uh, options that need a one and a one. If anybody's interested in these, let me know. I can get you samples. Um, and then this is really good news. Uh, they've had such good success with uh, Easy Jammers. They are launching a new flavor of being strawberry coming soon. We'll keep you posted. Next slide. Okay, uh, this is just a point of sale here. Uh, at the bottom, please note that they also do uh, jammers, pizza jammer sticks. Uh, so they do have a pizza one as well as a cheese filled one. Next slide. Okay, we've got a trivia question here. What new flavor of Easy Jammers is coming soon? Okay, very good. Uh, next up, I'm gonna do this presentation as well. Uh, it's a maize and raisin. Next slide. Next slide. What is a maize and raisin? Uh, maize and raisin is a fruit flavored infused raisin with no sugar added. It's all natural, fat free, peanut tree and nut free, vegan, gluten free, certified kosher, GMO free, and best of all, it's made in the United States of America. Next slide. Okay, they are available in seven mouthwatering flavors, strawberry, sour lemon, orange, sour watermelon, raspberry, sour pineapple, and peach. Uh, they have also um, uh, created a product where they add sunflower seeds to it. So you do get a protein contribution. The two top sellers are strawberry and orange. I encourage you to try them. They're available at DOT as well as all of their items. Next slide. Uh, new in the pipeline, uh, they're also doing apple slices now. Uh, and then the one to the right, they're doing apple slices with the sunflower seeds. Amazing raisin in the classroom, uh, you know, great breakfast in the cla uh, classroom, lunch line, a la carte. Uh, each 1.3 ounce bag uh, contains one fourth uh, dried fruit, which will meet a half a cup fruit requirement. Slide. Okay, uh, Amazing Fruit is a family owned uh, company out of Fort Payne, uh, Alabama. Uh, they really went into this uh, dedicated to K-12. They do have patents on this. Uh, they do have competitors. What I can tell you, it's not as sour. It is definitely more flavorful. Uh, next slide. Okay, they're very uh, savvy with social media, uh, have, um, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. They also have their own website and they're pretty good at sending out samples. So if someone's interested in seeing a sample, you can either go directly to them or contact me and we will make arrangements to get you some. Okay, again, contact info, family, company, got Randy, Scott, and Ryan, uh, all related, and Victoria. Screen. Okay, we've got a trivia question. What food item was introduced in Amazing Raisins that contributes as a protein. That, okay, we got an answer already. Wonderful, thank you, Mara. Next screen. Okay, the answer is sunflower seeds, very good. All right, next up, uh, we have Dick and Jane Educational Snacks. And today with us, we have the founder and owner and the visionary behind this wonderful product. Uh, Dick Held, how are you today, Dick? Good, Val, how are you? Very good, thank you for making it today. Absolutely, my pleasure. So I guess uh, we'll start with the first slide, there's a you know, slide in here, but uh, greetings from uh, Michigan. I am just north of Detroit. And um, yeah, so I've been at this now for 12, 12 years since its inception. Uh, my wife, Jane, is a teacher and uh, we're all about helping kids to eat right and do well in school. And if there's any been a, a, ever been a company affected by the pandemic, I think uh, Dick and Jane qualifies. Certainly, I've been through the ringer for the past uh, nine months. My wife, Jane, is a first grade teacher. You know, she's been teaching from home, hybrid, um, 
you know, six, six first graders in the classroom, 19 on Zoom. Um, every day's a, a new journey for us. So um, appreciate all the support we can, we can garner out there. So uh, roll through the, I know we got a limited time here, but I did do want to give a shout out to Jane. You know, there, there we are. You know, we came up with this idea, about, again, like I said, a dozen years ago. Uh, to put education on an animal cracker. And if uh, anyone wants to hear the real story, I'd be happy to tell them it's a, it's a wonderful uh, addition. You know, we're out to national distribution now. So, um, you know, small, you know, family owned business, certainly Midwest. We do six varieties, states and capitals, presidents, English, Spanish, food and nutrition, fun and fitness and farmer's market. The cool thing about Dick and Jane educational snacks is they're all the same, yet they're all different. So the one single recipe has helped us move across the country fairly well. So if someone was using our states and capitals and wanted to serve uh, fun and fitness or you know food and nutrition, let's say for National Nutrition Month in March, it's not an issue because it's all the same. And if I come out with American history, you know that that's all the same as well. So moving from one to another is, is really a no brainer. Next slide, please. Yeah, we're served um, obviously in the cafeteria mainly. Uh, we do um, a new business coming on with uh, Amazon. We're growing our classroom and uh, uh, certainly the at home in the, in the kitchen business. Our, our Amazon business actually sort of taken off as the uh, curbside feeding has had Dick and Jane educational snacks consumed at home for the first time in you know 10 years. So that's that's been something that uh, looks promising and we're going to continue to address it. Next slide, please. And so, yeah, we're just going to run through quickly. You know, we just went through um, our EIP, which is Election, Inauguration, and President's Day. Uh, we served a lot of presidents um, for the past three months. And uh, I'm going to the next slide. And, uh, you know, my artist does some really good job of trying to connect the kids to our educational snacks. Um, you know, we do uh, all the presidents. We're working on a Biden now and uh, should be in the bag, not fairly soon, but uh, it takes you know six to eight weeks to get all that cut, but uh, we are getting that done. Uh, next slide. Food Nutrition uh, was helped be developed by some dietitians, and we have that one ready to go for National Nutrition Month in March. So that's gonna be you know, our best seller there. All of our products are available obviously year round, um, but we do see spikes in our business um, for promotional purposes now and again, like National Nutrition Month, so on and so forth. So next slide there. Our farmer's market is our latest and greatest. Uh, we do a bang up business for farm to school month in October and certainly Earth Day um, in April is something that we're trying to promote heavily because uh, it's also my wife Jane's birthday. So we're gonna work on giving some uh, donations back to kidsgardening.org to help sponsor school gardens. So that's a good one for us. It's a fun, fun uh, product. Obviously Wisconsin represented by cheese. Um, next slide. And our English and Spanish, that's our uh, uh, Bilingual edition features the numbers one through 10 and 50 vocabulary words. Um, yeah, Cinco de Mayo is sort of a, a big one in the spring for us and then Hispanic Heritage Month in the fall, September, October. That's a good one. That's fun. That's sight words. Um, but yeah, bilingual really gets people talking. So starting a conversation with Dick and Jane Educational Snacks is sort of our purpose. Next, please. Fun and fitness. This coming year end, you know, you get a lot of field days. And May happens to be uh, National Physical Fitness and Sports Month. Again, our artists have done an incredible job uh, sort of bringing those kids to life. And, and I think we do about, uh, I think 50 or 60 different ways for kids to stay active, uh, exercise, and it uh, you know promotes things you can do individually with a friend in a group or on a team. So uh, that's an inclusive product brand as well. Uh, and last but not least is our States and Capitals. States and Capitals is our number one bestseller. Um, always has been, I think always will be. Um, it's probably the most popular because it's taught uh, in school and at third, fourth, fifth grade level. Um, so states and capitals is our number one. And then um, last but not least, you know, we're in the uh, dot food chain. So uh, whatever your distributor is, uh, Dick and Jane is available nationally through dot. Last slide. <clears throat> and uh, there are the item numbers there. So um, certainly Val can help with that, and I know he has already. I'll just use the dot item numbers, and Dick and Jane uh, educational snacks are readily available, typically within, <coughs> excuse me, uh, four to, you know, 10 days' time. All right. I appreciate everyone's support and uh, enthusiasm for education, and uh, I hope to get out on the road and see everyone again soon enough. 
Okay, and then we got a poll question here. How many times would you like to serve Dick and Jane educational stats, snacks in 2021-22? I know what I would choose. <laughs> 10 plus. I'm gonna skew, I'm gonna skew the sampling. Okay, and then uh, we also have a trivia question, Trudy. Okay. This is my favorite. Anyone gets this wrong? I'll tell you what. Hey, it's fun, it's fun to be Dick and Jane, by the way. Oops, I gave the answer. Uh, uh. You know what, uh, just a quick fun story. If you ever introduce yourself as Jane and Dick, no one says a word, but it's Dick and Jane. It's sort of like being peanut butter and jelly or pork chops and applesauce. It's, it just goes together. So thank you again. Thank you, Dick, for taking the time. We do appreciate it. Absolutely. Take care, everybody. Thanks. Okay, Envy. Uh, we've got a poll here for Envy. Uh, when do you plan on starting back up a la carte? Okay, well, I'm going to keep going here while you guys answer that. Oh, here we go. All right. 45% are already doing it. That's, that's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Envy uh, is a great 100% natural beverage. Uh, if you can go to the next slide, Jeremy. Uh, okay. Uh, the Envy concept began in 2006 with a mission to develop a healthy and sophisticated premium 100% fruit juice drink. Uh, and they reached that goal by 2007. And they won the Bebstar Award from Beverage World in 2015. Uh, Envy uh, has a line of 100% sparkling fruit juice and eight ounce. Great grab and go, great a la carte item. As you can see, those cans are very, very visually appealing and they definitely go for them. Each can does equal two fruit servings and is smart snack compliant. Next slide. Okay, and then uh, for those schools that do not do carbonated uh, beverages, they have non-carbonated. And each can also contains uh, two fruit servings and it is smart snack compliant. That's good. Okay, that's just a quick shot of the nutritionals. Very, very clean label. Next slide. Okay, the MD brand advantage, it's 100% all natural juice, 100% fruit content, fortified with three or more vitamins and minerals. Uh, only natural juices are available in both sparkling and non sparkling. Uh, they are USDA Smart Snack compliant for all K 12 schools. Uh, new flavors come, I'll go over flavors on the next slide. Uh, no, no artificial flavorings or colorings, no high fructose corn syrup. And then here on the next slide, we have a uh, listing of flavors that are available. As far as sparkling, we have MV Apple, Fruit Punch, Strawberry Kiwi, and Acaya Berry. And then for the non-carbonated, uh, we have Cherry Apple as well as Fruit Punch. And if anyone needs to see samples on this, uh, just please give me a call or email me. I'd be happy to make arrangements to get some out to you. And then I think that's it for Envy. And then we are going to move to the next vendor and that is, uh, oh, I'm, I'm getting ahead, I'm sorry. For what grade ranges are Envy 100% juice products smart snack compliant? Please type your answer in. Okay, very good. Okay, and then uh, next here, um, 
Two, two lines we represent now with GVM, Mix Me and Totally. With us today, we have the owner and founder, uh, Chris, and I believe Kristen is there as well. Uh, and welcome, guys. Thank you for taking the time to do this. And the floor is yours. Yes. Hey, thanks, Val. Thanks, GVM, for hosting this great event. We do miss everyone, too. Um, this first slide just shows we are Mix Me Brands, but Everyone always asks us at the booths every year, what's new? This year we have something new to show you, totally different. Uh, sorry about that, totally different. Totally baked oats. Next, Val, next slide. Okay. Yeah, so this is totally, um, it's an individually wrapped uh, grab and go item. It's a uh, year and a half shelf life frozen. It's delivered frozen and um, you can store it in the refrigerator for a week or you can uh, have it room temperature for three days. Uh, this is the shape of them. They, they come in it in their own individual pan. They're cooked in. So the little square, those totlies are cooked in that square. The bigger ones, the loaves, they're cooked in them. Uh, they do have a tab that opens up so you can actually pull them out quite easily or you can uh, actually put uh, toppings on. We like honey, jam, uh, there's fruits you can put on, yogurt. Our personal favorite is to actually pour milk or cream inside the pan and scoop it out. It's a fantastic breakfast. Um, let's see, what am I missing here? I think that's good. What it, we really like to put them in a warming oven or if you put 10 seconds in a microwave, um, that's when it's really good is if it's warmed up a little bit, but lots of people just eat them cold from the refrigerator. All right, thanks for next slide, thank you. Um, let's see, the small one uh, credits as a one ounce. The two, the, the bigger one is a two ounce. Um, as you can see, it meets, uh, it kind of matches Mix Me. We really love to have prebiotic fiber inside our products and we really like clean label, uh, the smallest amount of allergens as possible. All our brands are gonna be like that. And um, I think this basically has everything on there that I've already talked about. The nutritionals are good. Um, in case there's a uh, future trivia, um, Chris actually is, my wife is the product developer. She develops everything that our company makes. And then she tells me what to do. And I usually go out and hit the road. I'm in an ice storm right now in Missouri. And um, you're very happy to, happy there's Zoom. Uh, anyway, her nickname is Mama, in case you guys have that as a trivia question. All right, Mix Me Brands is pretty much the same. We added BB12 this past year. We're super proud of this. We wanted to have even a, 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 a clinically studied probiotic in with our other probiotics. And BB12 has over 100 clinical studies uh, and its primary uh, purpose is to uh, increase immune function. Um, that's what the study showed. So we really wanted BB12 in our product for retail and for food service. And, um, and so our, our products contain that now. Let's see, anything else from this slide? Next. And there's our nutritionals. People are, are pretty comfortable with this product. There's billions of probiotics in every serving and they're live and active. We culture this yogurt. Next. Oh, there's some examples for lunch trays. We really love pictures of Totally or Mix Me on a lunch tray. We put them on our website and we super appreciate uh, people that, that support our brand and we put them on our website as well. Thank you, thank you. There's our flavors. Dunzo. Got a trivia question here. What's new with Mix Me Brands? Yes, <laughs> correct. And remember Mama, nickname Mama. And then, uh, I think we got a poll too, Jeremy, for Mix Me. Okay, poll question. Do you plan uh, to plan to use Totally Oats uh, for next school year? Yeah, and, and so far we have uh, cinnamon. That's our one flavor. Um, that's what we have launched this year. By next school year, we're going to have a couple more, which we're developing right now. Thanks, y'all. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Chris, for taking the time to do this. And if any of you guys need to see samples of Mix Me or Totally, please reach out to me, and I will do my best to get them to you, as well as Chris. Awesome. Thank Thanks you. Thanks Chris. Okay. There's their poll result, uh, results. That's good. 57%. Excellent. Okay. Next up, we have uh, Chip Connor with uh, Sun Cup Juice. And looks like we have a poll question for them as well. Thank you, Val. 
How are you doing today, Chip? Doing great. Okay, here's our poll question. Do you plan to use shelf-stable 100% juice in place of frozen or chilled juice uh, next school year? I'm looking forward to the results on the poll. Okay. It should be up shortly. Great, good answers. Okay, well the floor is Chip. Thanks again for taking the time to do this. Glad to be here. And I'm, I'm glad to be partnered with Val and GVM for this presentation. We're one of the newest lines for them. We are a 100% fruit juice company that offers great grab and go solutions. Next slide, Jeremy. Uh, our, our frozen juice and shelf stable juice products are great for your traditional feeding plans, as well as take home meals in classroom feeding and meal delivery. Next slide, Jeremy. We manufacture four ounce and six ounce juice cups. They are frozen 100% juice cups in a wide variety of different flavors. Perfect for your frozen meal kits uh, or again for traditional feeding programs. Next slide, please. Also manufacture, and this may be new to you, the frozen 100% juice cartons. The cartons are available in either four ounce or six ounce. And again, are great for your frozen meal options and traditional uh, feeding programs. You can go to the next slide. Our newest offering are our shelf stable juices. We manufacture seven varieties of 100% fruit juice and three varieties that meet a vegetable pattern, both in a half cup and three quarter cup. The shelf stable fruit juice options have really been popular during pandemic feeding. Next slide, please, Jeremy. We also have some great new items. Our mango splash shelf stable juice credits as one half cup or three quarter cup additional vegetable and we just introduced a strawberry kiwi 100% fruit juice product and a four ounce drinking water cup, which is very necessary in the schools now that most drinking water fountains are closed. Next slide, please, Jeremy. Gregory Packaging is celebrating its 99th year this year. We are a family owned company. We were founded in 1922 in New York City. And as you can see from the next slide, Jeremy, we now have plants across the country to meet your needs. All of our products are made in our plants in the USA in either Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, or Arizona. Next slide, please. And that's about the quickest sales presentation I've ever made, but I love it. And I wanna thank you for your time today. If you need a sample kit, please reach out to Val, anyone at GBM, or feel free to email me at chip at suncupjuice.com. And Val, we have a, a trivia question. Okay, very good. Uh, what year was Gregory Packing founded? My goodness, you guys. Wow. That is awesome. Well, thank you very much, all. Okay, thanks again, Chip, for taking the time. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Okay, uh, next up, we have uh, another manufacturer, and I think we have Dawn with Wild Butter up next and it does not look like we have a poll question so Don, how are you doing today good how are you very good thank you for making it today yeah thanks for having me um so i'm just going to talk a little bit about our product it's uh wow butter so wow butter is made in a dedicated peanut and tree nut free facility and is made from only five all natural non-gmo ingredients the ingredients are whole toasted soy soy oil cane sugar, sustainable palm oil, and sea salt. There's no added colors, flavors, or preservatives added. Um, we also, we do not include any hydrogenated oils. Many other spread manufacturers use fully hydrogenated oils, including mono and diglycerides. Uh, this is to help prevent oil separation. These are not considered natural or healthy by health experts. Wow, but it's also, also a natural source of ALA omega-3, which uh, we have 1,000 milligrams per 32 gram serving. Peanut butter has zero, many other spreads have little to none. Wow butter is also the number one rated plant protein. This is based on the protein digestibility corrected amino acid score or the PDC-AAS. 
This was adopted by the US FDA and the World Health Organization in 1993 to evaluate protein quality based on both the amino acid requirements of humans and their ability to digest it. So we conducted our own testing to verify Wowbitter's PDA, sorry, PDCAA score. Uh, we did this by sending one of our jars along with our competitors jars to a certified third party lab. Uh, we, yeah, perfect. Uh, the test results were outstanding. Wowbitter came back with a score of 89.2, which means Wowbitter is more bioavailable, complete protein compared to its competitors. So meaning that it's 1.8 times better than peanut butter, two times better than sunflower butter, and 2.9 times better than almond butter. So the nutritional benefit of wow butter compared to its uh, competitors with the equal serving, uh, it's just, it's a, the others are incomplete. Um, next slide, sorry, <laughs> my timing's off a bit. Um, Food choices do matter. Not all plant proteins are the same. Protein digestibility should be a key deciding factor when selecting meat alternatives. Wow butter is the only spread with a protein source that is considered complete as it has all nine essential amino acids, which are equivalent to meat or dairy proteins. Next slide. With more education, the difference between protein quality, better informed food decisions can be made, which will result in significantly better nutritional impact for kids. Wow butter satisfies the two key factors of a successful food uh, item, sorry, <laughs> the best possible nutrition with unmatched quality and a taste and textures that, that kids love. Next slide. Wow butter is uniquely flexible. It can credit as either one meat meat alternative or as a quarter cup vegetable serving under the legume category. Peanut butter and sunflower butter does not credit as a vegetable. And we're just showing you a couple different um, serving suggestions to get your crediting in. Next slide. Uh, tasting with kids is a true test. Wow Butter got its name because so many people said wow after tasting it and they still do to this day. Tasting with kids proves that Wow Butter has a preferred taste and texture that they already know and love. Um, so whether you want to do scratch baking or sorry, scratch baking, sandwich assembly or creating an on the go meal kit, we have the perfect size you need. Uh, wow Butter easily replaces Wow uh, peanut butter in any recipe using a simple one-to-one -one ratio. And then next slide. And I just want to say thank you for taking part in the presentation today and listening to me. And we have a trivia question coming up next. Okay. Looks like we got an answer there already. The correct answer was, after trying it, so many people would say, wow. Well, thank you very much, Don, for your time today. We do appreciate you coming in and going over everything. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Okay, everyone. Well, this concludes our GVM Live Wisconsin event. Uh, we'll stay on here for a few minutes if you guys have any questions. Uh, as far as the winners on the trivia, we'll be reaching out to you individually to uh, uh, let you know where you want the, the gift card sent. Uh, so if there's any questions, we've got Jeremy and myself here. We'd be happy to answer. And then if there's one thing, uh, hey, we bear, I went through that a little bit fast. Um, with the pandemic, I uh, just have not been able to get the samples out that I would have liked to. Uh, I do think I'm going to get some samples out next week. So if anybody would like to evaluate between Henry Bear and myself, uh, we should be able to get some samples out to you. Okay. Okay, well, thanks again, you guys. Any questions you have, you can just call me or email me. Get back to you as soon as I can.